converting between degrees and radians. Alashma. The citizens of Krusty Hollow have just finished baking the world's largest apple pie. Unfortunately for them, the tempting aroma has attracted the attention of a handful of giants living on a cloud above them. Tommy, Teddy, Benny, Manny, Gary, and Jenny the Giants show up to crash the party, and Krusty Hollowites scatter. Ah! To divide the pie evenly, Tommy pulls out his handy-dandy protractor, which measures angles in degrees. We know that a circle is 360 degrees. If Tommy evenly divides that between he and his five friends, then each giant gets one-sixth of 360, or 60 degrees, of pie. Because giants are always challenging themselves, Tommy wonders if he can convert the number of degrees in his slice to radians. Back at Giant High, Tommy learned that a full circle has two pi radians, which is equal to 360 degrees. So to convert from degrees to radians, all he has to do is multiply the number of degrees by pi over 180. Remember, Tommy's slice is 60 degrees. So 60 times pi over 180 simplified is the same thing as pi over 3. After gorging themselves on pie, two of the giants head back into the cloud. But right after they leave, the remaining giants discover a second massive pie in the neighboring town of Compote Hills. Tommy cuts the pie into four even slices, each with a measure of pie over two radians, then wonders what that would be in degrees. Hmm. Well, if the number of degrees multiplied by pi over 180 gives you the number of radians, then what if we flip the fraction around to get from radians to degrees? The formula that Tommy uses to convert from radians to degrees is the number of radians multiplied by 180 over pi equals number of degrees. So in the equation pi over 2 times 180 over pi, the pi in the numerator and the pi in the denominator cancel out, and 180 divided by 2 gives you 90 degrees. Each slice of pi is pi over 2 radians, or 90 degrees. There you go. Tommy feels quite satisfied, both by the dessert and his formidable algebra skills. Uh.